I have 12 hours to 100% Undertale, and even though I have like 3000 plus hours in this game, I have no idea how to do that. And to make sure that I went insane at least once in this recording, I banned using the internet to search things up. Now let me get this out of the way. This is not a true 100% attempt. I only need to beat all the bosses, excluding so sorry, so sorry about that. I just had to, okay? And pick up at least one of every item. Also, I'm only doing true pacifist for this video because I think doing a true 100% would be interesting for a future video. Anyways, after being free from the supervision of Toriel, I picked up the monster candy and started work on getting all of the yellow credits. And that requires you to do specific acts in each monster or play a song of your errand. I've played this game enough times to where I should know how to get every yellow credit. Sometimes you got every yellow credit by the end, right? Right? I cheered up Nats Fluke and then spent all of my gold on a donut and alcohol. Probably shouldn't be handing a child that, but sure, it's fine. What's that? How old am I? Well, you see, I forgot my ID at home, but, but I'm 19, just trust me. As a totally real 19 year old, I did some cleaning by picking up a ribbon and toy knife, then met back up with Toriel, took her pie, and then fled the scene of the crime by escaping into the woods. I was caught immediately by Sans, yet he didn't turn me in because he just didn't feel like it. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, I can tell anyone else, right? Sodom was a pretty easy area since there's only like four monsters you can encounter, but one of them requires that you move around for about two minutes in this room. And I didn't know that, so here I am sitting AFK like a total moron. But after a while, I got bored of that, so I started sliding across the room to occupy myself until eventually it showed up. I have no clue how to spare this enemy, so I was just doing a random act hoping it would work. But this guy deals almost the same damage as Asgore, and I had to start spamming heals. Yet somehow, I ended the fight and I don't even remember what I did. I think now's a good time to mention that if I went AFK at all during this recording, the timer wouldn't stop. And I thought that it would be close since I started playing 20 minutes after I woke up and I didn't even have breakfast. But I definitely overestimated things. I also overestimated just how many items were in this game because I feel like I wasn't picking anything up. But when I reached Snowden Town, all they had left was to spend all of my money in the shop. I hung out with Papyrus and then moved into Waterfall, which was actually the most annoying area ever. But we'll talk more about that later because now the only the competent guard member found me and I'm not being captured yet. This game's confusing. I picked up the abandoned quiche for the third time in my life, washed away my sins with the help of Washua, and then treated myself with some ice cream. And after making Shiren famous, I fell off a bridge and almost died to a talking dummy. It was fine though, since after wasting even more money, I got to meet the legend herself. I struck up a conversation, and apparently I'm a member of the village now. I bought my new pet some Temi Flakes, and then realized my mistake of filling both my inventory and my box. I know I can just give back the Temi Flakes, but I wanted to keep them for literally no reason whatsoever. We'll come back to my new home later, as now we have to deal with Undyne. And after I poured water into the lava after she collapsed from the heat, she decided to stop fighting and walked away. Since we're in Hotland now, we have a lot to do. Pick up the gear for the rest of the game, buy some hot dogs and a hot cat. But when I reached the hotel, I realized that I had nowhere near enough money to buy everything. Backtracking sucks, but we have no choice but to continue forward for now. I have no clue how to get the yellow names for half of the core enemies, though I'm sure it'll be fine. But when I reached Metaton, Well, that kind of sucks. After taking items I'll never use from Azriel's room, I defeated Asgore and Omega Flowey, and now it's time to backtrack through the game and collect the rest of the items. So I went back to my new home in Waterfall, sold everything in my box, including that cider I never ended up drinking, and then paid for Temi's college degree. This is where Waterfall went from a relaxing area to an absolute fucking chore. The Temi armor costed almost 10,000 gold, and I had 1,200 after selling everything I owned. And it's not like I could just die and lower the price of it since because it beat Metaton already, monsters no longer spawn anywhere. My only option was to buy and sell cloudy glasses for 40 minutes, and that's for a single item. We're gonna have to do this even more when we return to Hotland to get the final few items. So since we spent a painful amount of time buying the Temi armor, that means we have to put it on now, right? No, it's going straight in the box. I went to visit Undyne, and apparently now I'm a mailman. Being the totally 19 year old that I am, I immediately dropped the letter and forced Undyne to write a new one. As I was about to leave Snowden, something felt wrong to me. It was like I was forgetting something crucial, but I couldn't figure out what. And after I returned to Papyrus' house at trying to determine what I was forgetting, it hit me. 
There's a secret door at the back of their house, and I forgot to get the key from Sans. Therefore, the three hours it took to get this far meant nothing, as now it wasn't possible to obtain the key. As I cruised back to Hotland, I was debating just resetting so I could acquire that key. I would definitely be able to do it since I put the timer way too high, but ultimately, I decided to just continue the run seeing how I was pretty much at the end. Sure, it would mean I failed getting 100%, but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna ignore that. I delivered the letter to Althus, and because I was sent back to Waterfall, I finished the grueling task of spending an entire hour of this run just buying and selling glasses. And not only that, I decided to return the Temi armor for 600 gold. Kind of a scam if you ask me concerning I spent 10,000 on it, but you're a Temi. I'll forgive you. Plus, I've already put her in debt from all the glasses I made her buy, so maybe I'm the bad guy here. And she's the one who bought them for me in the first place. I went back to Hotland to purchase the final few items, and then I got hit by another realization. There's three doors in the hotel that you can give an item to for money or other items. And while I completed the ones that gave money earlier in the run, I still had to get that item. The issue is that it requires a hot dog in return for a hush puppy, and Sans is already gone from the hot dog stand, so I can no longer obtain this item. There was getting 100% for the second time in 20 minutes. I took the elevator down to the Chew Lab and bought the last item I could from the shady vending machine. The amalgamates were easy to spare, which automatically gives you their yellow names, and the final task to complete this run was to beat Azrael. This is by far my favorite boss in the whole game, so that should mean I'm really good at it, right? Yeah, I'm pretty bad at dodging those attacks, but it doesn't matter, because Azure has been saved, ending this run. This journey has been fun, apart from spending a quarter of its sunglasses, and although we failed to actually get 100%, I realized that it didn't even matter because I forgot to talk to Bad Dummy.